Tiny earthquakes shake Southern California every three minutes. So what does this mean? Well, we know that California is on a subduction zone. It's one of the worst areas in the world as far as seismic activity is concerned. This is on Live Science by Stephanie Pappas. Southern California is a lot shakier than ever before. Realize this is according to a new study. A tiny earthquake rumbles through the southern portion of the Golden State of California every three minutes. These tremblers won't knock down walls or send palm trees swaying. In fact, they're too small for even typical seismic instruments to regularly detect. But their discovery reveals seismic activity that scientists could not previously detect. Understanding the full pattern of activity should help seismologists, geologists understand how larger earthquakes get started and how quakes can trigger another one. Quote, the earth is failing all the time. End quote. Failing, not falling, failing. Said study author Zachary Ross, a postdoctorate researcher in geophysics at the California Institute of Technology. He says, what really starts to come out is that these events, they're really communicating with each other in space and time. Missing pieces? Humanity is naturally most interested in large, damaging earthquakes. Ross told Live Science, the kind that take lives and bring cities to a standstill, but those quakes don't happen on the same time scale as human lifetimes. On a single fault, one big earthquake might occur every century or even every, every thousand years. Smaller quakes are a lot more frequent. For each drop in unit of magnitude, there are 10 times more quakes, Ross said. So for every magnitude 7 trembler, for example, there are 10 magnitude 6 quakes. 100 magnitude 5 quakes, and so on. Even seismometers don't easily differentiate the smallest of these shakes from the ground, uh, the background noise of the environment, Ross said. The standard catalog of Southern California quakes put out by Caltech on the U.S. Geological Survey catches everything of magnitude 1.7 and above. Now, Ross and his team have found a way to tease out quakes as small as magnitude 0.3 from that same data. The trick, Ross said, is that two quakes with similar epicenters will show almost the same pattern of shaking on a seismogram, even if one is much larger than the other. The researchers used known earthquakes as templates, searching for smaller but otherwise identical squiggles on the earthquake record. Revealing new patterns, the method turned up a whopping 1.8 million tiny twins to known quakes over a period of 10 years. From 2008 to 2017, Southern California exp uh, experienced an average of 495 tiny quakes every single day, one every 174 seconds, Ross and his colleagues reported on April 18 of this year to the journal Science. As staggering as those numbers are, they're exactly what you'd expect given the rule of thumb of 10 times as many earthquakes per unit of magnitude, Ross said. Quote, we get 10 times as much information now, and it should be allowing us to test out all sorts of new things that we could not have done in the past, he said. One example, in 2012, California's Imperial Valley experienced a series of earthquakes known as the Brawley Earthquake Swarm. There were hundreds of tiny quakes and two slightly damaging ones reaching magnitude of 5.3 and 5.5. Using the newly flashed out data, Ross and his team found that this earthquake swarm actually began with 10 additional hours of subtle, previously unnoticed shaking. The team also used the data to investigate the aftermath of the magnitude 7.2 El Mayor Cucapa earthquake that shook Baja, California, Mexico in 2010. There was a noticeable spike in extremely low-level quakes for a week before that, and after that shock at distances up to 170 miles, that's 275 kilometers, away from the fault, the researchers found. 
these nearly undetectable shifts could explain how quakes affect each other over long distances, Ross said. The same template match technique could be useful for beyond Southern California, Ross added. Any region or country with a good seismic network and high quality data record could search their own history for tiny quakes. He said, I think this is going to be really uh, leading the way to a whole new wave of scientific analysis. And now we're going into the link going to 13 crazy earthquake uh, facts. Again, on live science. One, Earth has been more seismically, uh, seismolog seismologically active in the past 15 years or so. More earthquakes in the past 15 years. This is according to the Missouri University of Science and Technology. Two, San Francisco is moving towards Los Angeles at the rate of about two inches per year, the same pace as the growth of your fingernails. As the two sides of San Andreas fault slip past one another, the cities will meet in several million years, but this north-south movement also means that, despite fears, California won't fall into the sea. Number three, March is not earthquake month, despite what some people believe. True March 28, 1964, Prince William Sound of Alaska experienced a 9.2 huge magnetic uh, magnitude event, one of the largest, biggest quakes ever. Um, it uh, caused over 311 million property damage. And on March 9, again, 1957, the Adrianoff Island, Alaska, felt a 9.1 tremor. Number four, there are about 500,000 earthquakes per year around the world as detected by sensitive instruments, about 100,000 of those can be felt and 100 or so cause damage every year. Each year, the Southern California area alone experiences about 10,000 earthquakes, most of them not felt by people. Number five, the sun and moon cause tremors. It's long been known that they create tides in the planet's crust very minor versions of ocean tides. Now researchers say the tug of the sun and moon on the San Andreas Fault stimulates tremors deep underground. Number six, a city in Chile moved 10 feet in the massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake February 27, 2010. The rip in Earth's crust shifted the city of Concepcion that much to the west. 10 feet. The quake also thought to have changed the planet's rotation slightly and shortening Earth's day. Number seven, there's no such thing as earthquake weather. Statistically, there is an equal distribution of earthquakes in cold weather, hot weather, rainy weather, and so on. This is according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Scientists say there is no physical way that weather could affect the forces several miles beneath the surface of the Earth where quakes originate. The changes in barometric pressure in the atmosphere are very small compared to the forces in the crust and the effect on the barometric pressure does not reach beneath the soil. Number eight, Earth's bulge was trimmed a little by the 2004 Indonesian earthquake, the nine Richter trembler that uh, generated the deadly tsunami December 26 that year. Earth's midsection bulge in relation to the measurement from pole to pole and the catastrophic land displacement caused a small reduction in the bulge, making the planet more round. Number nine, the Pacific Ring of Fire is the most geologically active region of Earth. It circles the Pacific Ocean, touching the coasts North and South America, Japan, China, Russia. It's where the majority of Earth's major quakes occur as major plate boundaries collide. Number 10, oil extraction can cause minor earthquakes. We're talking about hydraulic fracturing, fracking. These are not the quakes you read about. These are the man-made quakes because oil generally is found in soft and squishy sediment. When oil is removed, other rock moves in to fill the void, creating many seismic events that are not noticeable to humans. Well, they are. They're pretty big, some of them now. 
In number 11, the largest earthquake ever recorded was a magnitude 9.5 in Chile. This was May 22, 1960. Number 12, quakes on one side of Earth can shake the other side. Seismologists studying the massive 2004 earthquake that triggered the killer tsunami throughout the Indian Ocean found that the quake had weakened at least a portion of California's famed San Andreas Fault. The Chilean quake of 1960 took the entire, shook the entire Earth for many days, a phenomenon called oscillation that was measured by seismic stations around the planet. Number 13. The deadliest earthquake ever struck January 23, 1556, in Shanxi, China. 1556. Uh, we are not told here how uh, big of a magnitude that was, but it's estimated that 830,000 people lost their lives in that quake of 1556 in China. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.